you have a big business and the business just got a lot bigger yeah. in the last week with Randall Stevenson on the show uh, when the deal closed. Yeah. How has your life just changed? Well, um, it changed when I came to AT&T about nine months ago. So I worked for WPP for 12 years and that was a that was a great thing. And I ran Group M prior to this, which is a bunch of media right. agencies. So I was a big media buyer. Uh, and I came to AT&T because AT&T has great assets to build a significant advertising business. Um, and then we got sued by the government. And so we've been doing a lot of planning in the background for how we can expand our existing business. But last week when we received the judgment um, from the court, you know, it was very good news. And now we can really get to work and hit the gas. Uh, one of the things that you've, you've talked about though is trying to take the ad load, meaning the number of ads in a given hour yeah. down across the board of now all the programming I imagine on Time Warner, yeah. um, and, but make them higher margin for the ads you are showing by being able to target them in a much more, uh, dare I say, programmatic and directed way. Yeah, I, I do think we can take the ad load down. We, we, we are in sort of a time when there's more content than ever and there's more great content than there's ever been across more devices and channels, but everybody still hates advertising when it interrupts the content. And so it's our job to reduce the load on consumers, make it a better experience. And there's really two ways we can do that. One is to simply make ads more relevant and more targeted, the ads that you know right now as they exist. The other is to reinvent advertising. And what that's does that mean? Everybody always talks about, especially here, they say we're reinventing yeah. advertising. Right. What is that? Well, I mean, AT&T is in a unique position to do that because we are now content owners. Time Warner is one of the best content libraries in the world. And we're also distributors of content and we have technology and we have data. So imagine you're home and you're watching your big screen on your living room wall, direct TV, and you've also got an AT&T phone in your pocket. We're the only company that knows you're watching a big screen on the wall and you've got a small screen in your at pocket. At the same time. At the same time. And so imagine you're watching content and instead of us interrupting the content with the traditional commercial break, we can show an icon on the screen that indicates to you that there might be a mixed reality experience where you can get more information about the car you just saw or the dress you just saw um, without interrupting the content, but you can sort of take it to your phone do and Do you learn have more. the technology to do that now? Yes. You do? Yes. That's a nice segue for me to also ask you about just technology broadly, because there's a, right. a, a news story today in the papers I, about AppNexus. Right. Uh, this is a $2 billion ad tech company. You used to be on the board of this company. Yeah. And um, the report says that AT&T is about to buy it. So Ken's good at a few things. Ken's really good at rosé, heat, parties and really good at rumors you know so there's lots of rumors that come up at can i've heard that one also yeah do you want to speak to it no <laughs> I, I will say this i mean listen we, we have a big opportunity in front of us and uh we're going to build what is today a two billion dollar advertising business into something more significant and so of course you would expect us to look at every opportunity to accelerate our time do to you market. need do you need to buy more tech how about that uh we, we need more tech you need more tech and then final question what do you just think of the move for more and more consumers to try to buy services that don't have advertising at all? Netflix is one. Hulu is doing a very good job, though there is an advertising piece of it, yeah. to, to upselling people to a non-advertising business. Yeah, I think subscription video on demand is a great service and consumers love it, but you can't possibly pay for all the content that's being produced now through a subscription. And so the world needs advertising more than ever. We just need to make it more relevant and we need to make it matter for consumers. Okay. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.